Hi everybody, I have three boards here and each board has 16 electromagnetic relays on it and each board is supporting ITC communication protocol. And this is the final result of uh, our today's project. I have a Arduino here, here and I am controlling my three devices using Arduino via ITC protocol. So let me talk a, a little bit about the ITC protocol, then we will go more detail. Okay, this is the this is the diagram of ITC protocol. What we have here is master in our sample. Our master is our Arduino. Then slave one, which is this, and slave two and slave three. I need, to, as you see. Um, ITC protocol works with the SDA and SCL pins. They are here, SCL and SDA. Just for your information, in Raspberry Pi, you can um, make your other pins also SDA and SCL. Okay, so the other thing we need to know, we need to know the each uh, slave's address. Okay, I'm going to show you how can we get the address of each slaves shortly and what we are doing here is we are controlling all SDAs together here with the slaves and um, master of SCL together with the slave of SCLs okay so let me close my diagram now I'm going to open my I2C scanner application this application is going to help me today to figure it out um, what is the address of this board, ITC address, what is the ITC address of this board and what is the ITC address of my first board. In order to understand, I found this uh, coding online, there are tons of examples online and I'm going to run this board, uh, I'm coding and shortly it is going to tell me uh, what is the address of each board. Then in order to understand which board has which address i will show you two different ways to figure it out that addresses okay so now i'm going to turn on my serial port serial monitor as you see i have three addresses here 23 25 and 26 i don't know which one is 23 which one is 25 and which one is 26 there are two ways as i said before to understand so for example, if I um, if I I'm going to unplug this, when I unplug this, I lost one of them. Which one I lost? Looks like 23. So this one is this one is 23. If I disconnect this, now it is going to refresh. My screen is going to refresh shortly. Okay, now I have only 25, which is this one. So then I understand this is 26. Now it is going to come back, yes. And this is, when I plug in this one, 23 is going to come back too. Okay, cool. So this is the first way. The other way is we have a DIP switches here for each board. Okay, by changing this um, DIP switch uh, values, I'm going to have different values on the screen. So. Uh, I have a numbers here. I am not sure if you, if you can see. Number one is on the left. Number two is on the middle. And number three is on the right. So number one is right now all the way down. I'm going to make this one up. And let's see what it changed. Okay, as you see, it was 23 before. Now it is 25. Now I'm going to put this one back. This is the second way. You can understand which board has which address so i will do the same thing here number three i'm going to make all the way up on my second board as you see second board address is changed from 26 to the 27 and i'm going to put this one back to down now 26 again let's do the same thing here this is in the middle one is down I will make this up okay now 26 here I'm sorry which one is hold on I'm just confused a little bit 
now I will understand which one is in which. Okay, this is the middle one. Yeah. So this middle one, 25 now. If I make this up, 25 is going to change to the 26. Okay. This is the second way to identify which board has which addresses. Okay, after we we'll, after we get the addresses, now this is the real application, main application of controlling our boards via Arduino. I already put my numbers here. Okay, 23, 26, and 27. So this is going to be 27 there. I'm going to change this one to the 27, okay? So what we are doing here is we are controlling, uh, let me go uh, beginning of this coding. What I have here is I have an array for each relays. I am identifying as an array for each relays on the board. And I have a tree. Um, first of all, I already included my library here. Then I identify variable for each my relays here. Okay, this is then I showed what is the address of each relay. I mean each board's addresses here. Then what I did here is I said. Um, from 0 to 15 all my yes all my uh, relays is output okay same thing here same thing here then I started uh, my communication here in my loop what I am doing here is uh, every half seconds I am changing number uh, I'm turning on first relay here then wait turn off then turn on this one and turn off and turn on this on and turn off this back this is basically what I am doing it is so simple and let's run our coding and see the result okay by the way this is our 16 channel relays and we have also a channel available and we have also four channel available and those are also supporting ITC protocol okay I have an error because my serial port monitor was on I had to close it now we have to wait one more time again then we are going to finalize today's project together and you are welcome to ask me any question. Uh, I can give you also sample coding too. So, as you see, the, it is working great. As we said in the coding, I think done. Again, thank you so much for watching us. Have a nice day.